Hey there, Phone Sites users. So I want to show you a really cool trick that you can use for your Phone Sites funnel. Uh, this is pretty new, and you'll be able to use this when the autoresponder uh, functionality comes out. So I'm sure most of you probably got this email from Ryan the other day um, pertaining to the uh, Social Media Mastery event that he's going to be holding pretty soon. You might want to check that out. Um, now, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to pretend that I'm recreating this uh, this email within the Phone Sites as if Ryan was sending it from his Phone Sites funnel. So uh, I copied the body of the email. I already put it over into a phone sites funnel. Um, I'll show you where I put that but really quickly, just in case for uh, new people that are using phone sites. If you have not figured out yet how to send emails from your funnel, um, what you want to do is on your funnel page, uh, you want to hop on over from the design tab over to settings, scroll down. So this is what it looks like when you're at the top. Um, I haven't changed like the title or anything like that yet. That's one of the first things we would do, but this is just a, a demo funnel, right? Um, so you would hop down and then you would toggle send email. You want to turn that on. And then from here, this is where you can fill out your name, um, the reply to email, uh, subject, uh, headline, and so forth. I already copied and pasted the body in here. So that's all good. Okay. So I've got the email body in there. Now I'm going to start filling out the rest of this bad boy, right? So if I was sending it as if I was Ryan, I'd put in here Ryan's name and his email address, but I'm just going to put mine in there. Right, subject, uh, subject of his email was social media breakthroughs. Awesome, okay, so now the next part is the headline. Now you can add in the headline for your email and really try to grab their attention as they open that up. Okay, so you could put in just raw text. I could put in there like, like hey, uh, uh, let's see, uh, hey, uh, want to, uh, catch my, if I could type, <laughs> social media blueprint. You just put that in there and then it would just be a uh, headline at the top, black lettering, and it's going to be left to centered, or sorry, left aligned. But I'm going to change. I'm going to add in a little bit of HTML. I want to really grab their attention. So um, I already had this uh, saved in cache, so I can just copy and paste this in there uh, really quickly for you. But basically what I've done is, um, I've opened up with these tag, tags, uh, the div align center so that we can center the text within the email. looks a little bit more professional. I think when, when you open up the email, the body of the text is going to be, you know, uh, justified just right, but you want the, the headline to be centered because it's going to look a lot better. So I've, uh, used the div align center, uh, opening tag here, and then also the, the div uh, closing tag. And then I also wanted to make the headline stand out a little bit more. It's already going to be bold. It's already going to be a bit bigger because of the headline formatting, but I want it to be red. So I put in uh, font color equals red, and then I got my text in here. Now, to make things even more cool, um, I put in, uh, in brackets, the name. So that's going to pull in the person's name from the name field, from this field here. Whenever someone submits this, um, it's going to pull that in, and then whenever they get the email, it's going to personalize it and then have their name. How cool is that, right? Okay, so I put in here, you know, hey, uh, Chris McCoy. Hardcore closer Ryan Stuman here, and I want to share my social media mastery blueprint with you. All right, so I got that in there. Just a couple more things I want to show you really quickly, too. Um, for those of you that haven't really figured out yet how to use the button text, if you want to deliver a PDF, this is where you can do it. Before you want someone to click through here and maybe schedule an appointment with you, you can do that through here, too. I'm going to go back over to his email. I'm going to click or right click this and then copy the, uh, the link address. Go back in here. I'm going to put that into the button link. And then what did he have? That was a uh, social media mastery. And then recreate that. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so now we should be good to go for that email. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And then I already have this open a new tab. I'm just gonna refresh this really quickly. And then And I'm using the funnel that uh, Drew Wilson had created the other day where it carries the data through to the next uh, fields on the next, or same fields on the next page. So I'm just going to put in some dummy data here into field one and field two so we can submit this through and then watch it come through to my email. Awesome. Okay, let's hop back over to my email. And then there's my new email. Uh, that's the phone sites lead. Uh, that's not the email I want to click through. Here we go. So that's the, uh, the new email. As you can see here, it personalized it. It's addressing me. That's pretty awesome, right? Um, now, uh, if you noticed, 
on Ryan's original email, he had, uh, this is a graph, or this is a, uh, a JPEG uh, or a ping file, um, some image file that he added in there. You could add something like that in there too, uh, but of course you miss out on the, uh, the personalization effort or uh, effect that we have over here in this email that I just created. And then just to show you guys, if you haven't used the button yet, it works, right? It's going to bring me over to the sign up for the social media mastery. Hopefully that helps you guys out. Thanks for watching guys.